I am Bishop Bijoy Andy Cruz from Bangladesh, from the Diocese of Select. It is a new diocese. It was erected last year in September. It's one of the smallest dioceses. Uh, All together, people are about 10 million people, but Christians are a small community and about 18,000 Christians are there. Recently, I received mass stipend uh, from the Pontifical Mission Societies of Boston, and I am very thankful to this society because it is a great help for our priests. Uh, being a poor diocese, poor bishop, I cannot pay to my priests what I can do, whatever the mass type in I receive, I give to the priest for their personal maintenance. And it helps a lot because they do not have salary, they do not have other income, material income or financial income. So whatever the mass type in they get, that is uh, for their own sustenance. And I am very grateful to the uh, mission societies of Boston. Uh, they are helping me. Uh, they have a, a lot of concern for all the dioceses, especially for the poor priests uh, who are doing hard work in the field of evangelization. And, and it helps them a lot. It is a great encouragement and inspiration for them that other brothers are and sisters are helping them to continue their mission among the poor people. How many people does each individual priest serve in general? Are there thousands to each priest in a parish? or I, I would say about 1,000. I have about 20, 20 priests in my diocese, and there are 18,000 Catholics. But they travel a lot because Christians, they do not live together. Maybe a small village, only 10 families. Another 20 families far away from the parish. So they need to travel a lot to reach them, to say Mass, and then also be with them. And priests are the support uh, for all these indigenous uh, people. And also, uh, we get involved uh, in education ministry, uh, health care, and these are the work and service we do, irrespective of caste and creed, for all the children, because all are poor. We cannot distinguish who are Christians, who are not Christians. They, they need our help, and church is a hope uh, for them. So in that way, you evangelize through your word and your deed yes. by helping them. Yes, yeah. Now, how long would it take sometimes for a priest to travel between the various Christian communities? Sometimes three hours, four hours. Sometimes they take the uh, public transport because a uh, priest, they do not have cars. They use the motorbike and public transport. So it takes long time to reach them. So are there instances where small communities go quite a long time between seeing a priest and having Mass said for them? Oh, yes. I, most of the people, they do not get Mass more than five times a year. Five. There are many villages we need to cover. I see. And as an OMI bishop? I am an OMI bishop. And in Boston, we have quite a, a, a large community of Oblates of Mary Immaculate, so our, our folks are very, very familiar with your order. Um, can you tell me a little bit about the work of the OMIs in Bangladesh specifically? Uh, yes. Uh, Oblates of Mary, Mary Immaculate, the priest of OMI, are working in Bangladesh about uh, 38 years. And they are working especially in my diocese. Uh, that is the place 
originally uh, they started uh, their work and because of their work their evangelization now we have a diocese and they have schools they have parish centers and especially they have a special ministry uh, in the field of justice and peace uh, there is a priest father joseph comes and he is working for the rights of the indigenous people indigenous people still they don't have land in bangladesh though they have been living there uh, for more than hundreds of years but still they don't have a right to land land belongs to the government so they are poor they need the land uh, many are deprived of their basic human rights in the tea states their salary is very low uh, less than a us one dollar per day so they have a lot of struggles and difficulties and oblates are uh, trying to do more work for the rights of these poor people especially indigenous people of uh, silet of course now at the moment they are working in three dioceses of bangladesh and it is a very flourishing uh, oblate community they have more or less a uh, 22 oblate priests in bangladesh and they have good number of seminarians so it uh, oblates have a good future in bangladesh well, we're happy to hear that we thank you very much for your time today bishop god yeah. bless you and your work thank you very much thank you very much